Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with the welcome song. Are you ready? Stand up. Let me hear you nice and loud. Sing it out, ready? Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so glad you're here. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so glad you're here. It's been so exciting learning about space. We've learned about what the universe is. We learned about stars. We learned about the solar system, the sun, and today we get to learn about the earth. Before we start talking about the earth though, let me ask you some of the things from the last few days. Let's see if you remember. If you remember, say it nice and loud so I can hear you, okay? Let's see. What is the name of our galaxy where we live? Our galaxy. Do you remember? Did you say the Milky Way? Yes, it's the Milky Way galaxy. Pretty cool name. What about, what is the hottest color of star? The very hottest of all of them. What is it? Blue. That's right. Good job. Okay. What is bigger? A universe or a galaxy? That's a good question. Do you remember which one's bigger? A universe or a galaxy? <gasps> a universe, because a universe is everything. It has galaxies and solar systems and comets and asteroids. It has everything, all of space is our universe. Okay. What about what's bigger, a galaxy or a solar system? A galaxy or a solar system? If you thought a galaxy was bigger, then you were right. Good job. That was right. A galaxy is bigger. Inside of a galaxy, you can have solar systems and planets and lots of, lots of things. Okay. Well, can you tell me what a star is? Can you finish this? It's a big ball of glowing gas. I bet you said it. Gas. It's a huge ball of glowing gas. It's not just a shape, is it? It's a huge fiery ball of glowing gas. They could be all kinds of colors and, but they are very, very hot, aren't they? What about our sun? Is our sun a planet or is it a star? <gasps> our sun. It's a star. It's a big ball of glowing gas too. It keeps us warm. It keeps us alive. It helps our plants to grow. <gasps> We're so glad we have the sun. If we didn't have it, we would freeze, huh? And nothing would grow. But it is not a planet. It's a big ball of glowing gas too. Okay, let's do our Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song, okay? But today, we're gonna try it with our music. That means we've gotta go a little bit faster. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I know what you really are. Giant ball of glowing gas, one of billions in a mass. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, oh how big you really are. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star, large 
larger than the earth by far. Since your distance is a lot, you look like a tiny dot. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star, very bright and very far. Good job! That was so much faster. Good job. If you want to replay it and practice it, you totally can. Way to go. Now, another song that we learned that's awesome because it helps us to know all of our planets is the solar system song. The solar system song starts with our sun's a star. Okay, so let's start here. Ready? Our sun's a star, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune's the last one of the planets in our solar system. Good. Okay, let's do it again, and this time I'll keep my lips facing you. Are you ready? Our sun's a star, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune's the last one of the planets in our solar system. Very good. We're going to get really good at that one. Okay, so what goes in circles? In circles? but never gets dizzy. Something that goes in circles but never gets dizzy. A planet! Did you know that planets are always spinning? They're always turning and spinning. We call that rotating. Can everybody say rotating? So if you were, if I was Earth, I'm always turning. I'm always turning. So I rotate, Earth rotates once a day. So the cool thing is that's what makes our days, is the Earth spinning or rotating. When our part of the Earth, where we live, is facing the sun, then it's daytime. But when, we, when the earth has rotated and rotated and it gets to be the end of the day, we're not facing the earth anymore, then it's nighttime and we can't see the sun. We don't see the light anymore because it's on the other side of the earth. So when we're facing the earth, everybody say, it's daytime. And when we are turned away from the earth, everybody say, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. So, when we get up in the morning and we're there when the earth comes, then we're facing the sun all day, all day, and the earth is still rotating, 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 and then the sun is going down, and then it's nighttime, and it still rotates all night, all night, but then in the morning, we're facing the sun again because we're back to the beginning of that rotation. And it turns all day, and then the sun goes down, and then it's nighttime. Isn't that cool? So that's how we get our daytime, and that's how we get our nighttime. We're facing the sun, or we're far away from the sun. And so the light's not there, and we get, the sun goes down, and we, the, the heat goes away, so it gets a little colder, and that's what makes it. So that's how the earth rotate, rotates, it spins every day. But we know that it's also, the earth is also orbiting the sun, right? So the earth is orbiting, here's the earth, it's orbiting the sun all year. So, it, did you know that it takes a whole year for the Earth to orbit 
around the sun, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <gasps> it's a whole year now, it's time to start again. So if you are four years old, how many times have you been around the sun? How many times have you orbited the sun? <gasps> You were born, and then you went around once, and you turned one. Then you turned, went around again, and then you turned two. Then you went around the earth, the sun again, and you turned three. And then you went around again, and you turned four. So however old you are, that's how many times that you've been around the sun. I've been around the sun a lot, a lot, a lot of times. So. So we, we orbit the sun, but the earth also rotates while it's going. So we have daytime and nighttime. It's spinning also while it's orbiting. Very cool, huh? But does it get dizzy? No, isn't that amazing that it doesn't get dizzy? And we don't get dizzy even though we're spinning all the time. If we, and part of it is because of gravity. Can everybody say gravity? Have you heard of gravity? Gravity is what pulls, it's a force that pulls to the center of the earth and it keeps everything pulled to the center of the earth. It sucks us in. So if there was no gravity, we might just fly off the earth and into space but we have gravity that keeps us on earth. Isn't that awesome? Everybody try jumping, ready? Jump up. Mm. Did you stay up or did gravity pull you back down? That's what happens, gravity pulls us down. So everybody try jumping again and walk. feel how gravity just pulls you right back down to the earth. Mm. Yeah, gravity just pulls you down. The, the bigger the planet, the stronger the gravity is that sucks into that planet. And I have another song that's awesome for this. Are you ready? First, our Earth rotating song. It goes like this. The, the Earth orbits the sun. The Earth orbits the sun. Once a year, every year, the Earth orbits the sun. Okay, let's try that part again. The Earth orbits the sun. The Earth orbits the sun. Once a year, every year, the Earth orbits the sun. Then the second verse goes like this. It talks about the rotating. Ready? The Earth turns around. The Earth turns around. Once a day, every day, the earth rotates. <gasps> so once a day, every day it rotates, and once a year, it orbits the sun. All right, let's do it one more time. The earth orbits the sun. The earth orbits the sun. I can't hear you. Once a year, every year, the earth orbits the sun. The earth turns around. The earth turns around once a day, every day, the earth rotates. Good job! Okay, and then our gravity song. Are you ready for this one? This one's awesome. Gravity is pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. Gravity is pulling down all around us. Take a ball and toss it high. Will it stay in the sky? Gravity will pull it down all around us. Jump up high and down you'll go. There's a force pull down below. Gravity is pulling down all around us. 
Isn't that amazing? So when you throw a ball up, it comes back down because of gravity. We jump up, we come back down because of gravity. Otherwise, we would fly off the earth, wouldn't we? Okay, another cool thing about our earth, another, another way of saying earth is world, our, our world is livable because we can breathe. We have air. We have air, we have water, and we have dirt. But we have to have air. None of the other planets have air. None of them have oxygen. And we, it's kind of like, like pretend the earth was a big orange and you peeled the orange. You know that peel that goes around the orange? That's kind of like the atmosphere of our world. Our, our world has this little layer that goes all the way around it that keeps us with oxygen. It keeps the oxygen right around in that layer. If you get out of that layer, there's not oxygen anymore and you can't breathe. So it's so cool, it protects us. Kind of like the rind of an orange protects the inside of the orange. We have the atmosphere that protects us on the earth, on our world, so that we can breathe. We have that, that we have oxygen that will keep us there, keep us alive. It also helps keep the heat inside. That little layer keeps the earth warm where other planets don't have that. And they have, they get super duper 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 hot and they get super duper duper freezing. And But we have the atmosphere that kind of is a little layer of protection for us, like the peel, like the, uh, the peel of an orange. It's awesome. Okay, and that air is everywhere on that layer. It's all over. It's in the garbage can. It's in your mom's kitchen. It's in your pockets. It's in your dog's fur. It's it's everywhere. We just can't see it. But air is everywhere. And that is how our song goes. Get ready. Air, air everywhere. In our pockets, in our hair. We can't see it, but we know it's air. Air is everywhere.
Okay, our new letter is a W, a W sound. So everybody look up here. It's W for world. Can everybody say world? So let's think of some other things that start with W, like Wendy or waffle or wax or watermelon or wash window what about whisper those all start with wuh 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 and how do we write a wuh Let's see, we have our green line up top, our red line on the bottom that we don't want to go below, and then our yellow one in the middle. So a woof, you start up at the top and go down, and you're going to do a slant. You're going to do a tall slant and stop. And then you're going to go all the way back up to the tippy top with another slant. Stop. Again, big slant. And then another big slant. And what does that say? Woo, woo. This is a capital woo. Like if my name was Walter or the state of Wyoming. But most things we just have, we start with a, we use a small woo. And there we start on the yellow line and do the same thing. We do our slant, slant up, slant down, slant up. Now if I go down and make a mistake, that's okay. Miss Anna has been doing this for such a long time. If you don't do it quite right, we don't need to get frustrated. It's okay. You just do your best that you can. And if you get frustrated, remember to tell yourself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. If we think we can't, then we can't. So let's remember the little engine. I think I can, I think I can. And let's remember, remember how to be a star? Stop, take a deep breath, and relax. We can do that anytime, anywhere. During our little worksheets, we can do it. If we're playing with big brothers and big sisters or little brothers and little sisters or if our mom asks us to do something that we don't love or any time that we get frustrated remember stop take a deep breath and relax and then use our big voice okay you guys can do anything that you that you think you can here we go we're gonna do I'm gonna show you our what page that you're gonna do today and you're going to trace it, trace it, trace it, trace it, and then try it, try it the best you can. Good job. And then you're going to trace the big one, trace the capital W, trace the capital W, and then try it, try it, and do the capital W. Okay, good job. And then if you would like to, this is a coloring page that you can do of our world. And you'll have a rhyming worksheet. And actually, I don't think we have a rhyming worksheet today. I think we have our finding, circling the pictures that start with a W. All of the ones that start with a W, okay? And you can color it if you want to, too. So you're doing great. I'm going to get some pictures and I want you guys to practice thinking about what they start with. We have this one, remember this is a taco. This one is a snail. Here is a, some water. Here is a walrus. Here is a world. Here is a sun, and here is a lime. Okay, so those are from 
before and new today. So what does what does water start with? Water. Does it start with a t? Does it start with an o? Or does it start with a s? Water. Is it totter? No. Is it lauder? No. Is it solder? No. It's a w water. Water. So I'm going to leave that right there under the w. The w. Okay, what about our lime? Does lime start with t? Time? No. Does it start with a s? Sign? with all lime. Good. Okay. What about this walrus? Does walrus start with an ol? Lalrus? No. Does it start with a t? Talrus? Or a solrus? W walrus. Okay, I'll put it right there under the w words. What about this snail? What does snail start with? Do you remember? Is it tail? Is it lail? Is it whale? No, it's a snail. Snail. Let's see. Let's do that here. All right. What about this taco? Does taco Start with a wo, a waco? Is it a loco? Is it a socko? Or is it a taco? It's a taco! That's so silly. Okay, good. What about this sun? Can you see the sun? What does sun start with? Is it a one? Or a one? Or a ton? Sun! That's going to go with our snail, snail and sun. What about our last one, the world? World, what does it start with? Yes, you're right. It's not a turled or a lurled or a surled. It is a w world. Good. You guys are getting good those. Nice job. All right. Let's do our golden sounds really quick. Ready? Higgledy bee, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Remember to air dry them. Use your fingers and your lips. Good, like star. Like? Tomato or telescope. Ol, 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 ol. Like lion. <gasps> wuh, 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 wuh. Like walrus. Good. Good job. You're getting good at those. We have four already. Okay. Now we're going to do our numbers all the way through six and these are getting so easy for you too. Ready? Six. One. Three. I bet you beat me on that one. Five. Four. Two. And six. Back at six. You guys are doing so great. Keep it up. Remember, say, I work hard. I work hard. Say, I am awesome. I am awesome. See you next time.